will go for the simple algebra. So algebra is done in a same way that we are done in a regular way. Suppose we have two numbers Z1 and Z2 having A, B, C, D all are real numbers. Whenever you have to add it, add your real part and add your imaginary part. When you have to subtract it, do the same thing. So this is almost same as vector practice. Suppose we have vector v, v1 equal to xi plus yj and v2 is equal to x2i plus y2j. So only addition of i is allowed, addition of j is allowed. Same practice is preferred in the complex number also. Addition of real part, addition of imaginary part. If you have to multiply the two complex number, you multiply in a regular fashion. First you multiply A with both and then you multiply by B. And finally, you will get here one term equal to I square. So because of that one, the first term will become minus BD. Don't remember any of the standard step. Go on regular practice. When you have to go for the division and Z1 by Z2, then always take a conjugate part of this one. So C plus DI has a conjugate of C minus DI and again you divide by C minus DI. Because of this one, the denominator is become A plus B, A minus B. Take advantage of A square minus B square. But because of minus of I square, it become plus of D square. Take some basic example on this one. We want to find out 3 minus 4i into 1 plus i. So first of all, you start multiplying 3 with the second bracket as 3 plus 3i minus of 4i minus of 4i square. So we'll get 3 minus of i minus of 4 i square is minus 1 so we'll get 3 minus i plus 4 answer will be 7 minus i now to find out the product of 3 minus 2i into 5 plus 4i first you multiply by 3 so we get 15 plus 12i minus of 10i minus of 8i square so we'll get 15 plus 2i plus 8 minus 8 into minus 1. So we will get 15 plus 2i plus 8 that equal to 23 plus 2i. This time we are given z1, z2 and we have to calculate the product. So this time we will go for the direct 1 into 2 is 2, 1 into 3i is 3i, 2i into 2 is 4i plus 6i square. So what we get is 2 plus 7i minus 6. So your final answer will be minus 4 plus 7i. Take another example. Here it is given that x plus iy plus p plus iq is equal to x square plus y square i. You have to find out the value of p and q. So first of all you multiply in regular practice. So we will get px plus qxi plus pyi plus q into y into i square. Right hand side will simply adjust as 0 x square 0 plus into bracket x square plus y square. What we have done is we want to separate the real part and imaginary part. That is why we have written extra 0. This part will become minus of qi that is the real part and this one is also real. So we have px minus qi plus i times qx plus py is equal to 0 plus x square plus y square times i. To solve it further, you have to e equate the real part and imaginary part. So real part has value equal to 0. So we can conclude here px minus qy equal to 0 or we can say px equal to qy. Any of the term you can solve here either for p or either for q. Similarly, we can compare the imaginary part. So this imaginary part is compared with this imaginary part. So we have qx plus py equal to x square plus y square. So one simple one substitution is required to solve this problem further. So from this equation we will solve for q. We will get p multiplied by x divided by y. So in this one we can replace q as p into x upon y into x plus py is equal to x square plus y square. From the left hand side we can take out p common and we'll cross multiply with y, we will get p into x square, this y will become y square is equal to x square plus y square multiplied by y. So x square plus y square will cancel on both sides and we have value of p 
is same as y. Now put this value back into the equation of q and solve it for q. So will q is equal to x. Now we'll take one problem on the division. You want to find out 2 plus 3i upon 3 minus 4i. So we first of all we have to write down 2 plus 3i upon 3 minus 4i and the conjugate of denominator we have to add and multiply. That is 3 plus 4i upon 3 plus 4i. 2 into 3 is 6 plus 8i plus 9i plus 3i and 4i is minus 12. i square i square become minus 12 upon. In denominator we will get a square plus b square. That is 3 into 3 and minus 4 and plus 4 will become plus 16. Because of i square it become positive term. Finally we get minus 6 plus minus 12 is minus 6 plus 17i divided by 25. So you divide each number by 25. The first number is minus 0 0.24.68i. So this is your division. Now we can do the same problem by using polar system. For this you have to consider a coordinate system. Locate plus 2 plus 3i. That will be in the first quadrant 2 plus 3i. X distance is 2, Y distance is 3. And therefore we have modulus or radius is under root of 2 square plus 3 square. 4 plus 9 that equal to root 13. Angle you can calculate as tan inverse of 3 by 2 that equal to 56.3 and is taken as positive value because it is anticlockwise. Similarly you can locate 3 minus 4i in denominator. Now 3 is positive quantity and minus 4i is negative quantity. So it will lie in the fourth quadrant. So this point represents 3 minus 4i. Measure its radial distance from origin which is the under root of 3 square plus 4 square equal to 16 plus 3, 9, 25, that is 5. And you can calculate this angle. So this is tan inverse of 4 by 3, that equal to 53.13. So this angle is 53.13, but was taken as negative angle because it was measured clockwise. So same number, 2i, 2 plus 3i, can be represented as root 13, angle of 56.3 divided by 3 minus 4i is 5 angle. This time you have to write down minus of 53.13. Follow the standard sign convention clockwise negative and anticlockwise positive. And when you have to solve in polar, so first of all you can calculate what is the root of 13 divided by 5. So that is 0.72. And while doing the angle calculation, when it is shifted from denominator to numerator, you have to subtract it. So it is basically 56.3 minus of minus 53.3 that equal to 0.72 minus minus become plus so this total angle is 109.6 now to convert this into Cartesian we have to use cos theta plus i psi theta so 0 0.72 72 multiplied by cos of 109.6 plus i times sine of 109.6 now solve this so your first number will be as it is as minus 0.24 and second will be 0.68i. So whatever the method you select, your answer will always remain same. So I explain with the help of Cartesian and the polar system. Suppose they ask you what is the argument for this particular complex number. So your answer will be 109.6. So argument is 109.6. And suppose they ask you modulus, your answer will be 0.72. Now which method is better for you? You prefer that method. Suppose we want a product of 2 plus 3i into 3 minus 4i and we want to do this product with the help of polar form. So we have root 13 angle 56.3 multiplied by 5 angle minus 53.3 root 13 multiplied by 5 will give you 18.072 18.02 angle. Whenever it is multiplication you have to add the number that is 56.3 plus minus 53.3 so your number will be 18.02 angle 3 then again cos theta sin theta you can find your number 